All right, I'm going to do a new project. And it's got to be done in just about a week, uh, two weeks and a month. It's got to be to a point where I can put it in the gallery down in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And uh, people will be able to tell what the heck it is. Now, I dropped my mannequins here. And, uh, I'm going to set this up so that uh, this is a little bit more stable than having it by itself. So I've got my drill bits, drill some holes in the figure and in the wood or the base so that I can get the feet in a position, screw it down to the board and the, the uh, thing here and have everything a little more solid I'm going to drill a hole in each foot because once you place the foot you want it to stay where you placed it so I'm just going to for those of you with a weak stomach, turn your head sideways. The feet are a bit small on these in proportion. Uh, ideally, a foot should be a head length long and these are about a half head length. There we go. Alright, I'm going to take my guy and straighten his legs out. Put him in his holder, lower the holder, okay. Now let me show you what I'm thinking of doing. This is an old gentleman that uh, is from the Cree tribe and uh, it was taken in 1895. I like it. I like uh, everything about it. I'm not sure I want to do a static figure. I like this big uh, knife here and the fact that he's got his hand on the handle and I love this robe over his shoulders now he's being uh, being a Cree Indian he wears his loincloth differently than some of the Plains tribes although they sometimes tuck him in too but uh, he's got more of a diaper type uh, loincloth not going to do that don't want to put diapers on my warrior and uh so the clothing is going to be different and uh, not certain what I'm going to do with that yet. Uh, probably going to make a uh, Lakota or, or uh, one of the Sioux tribes because uh, Wyoming, uh, as they roamed around there, the uh, Teton Sioux and, and uh, the Aglala. And, uh, so I'm going to uh, try to come up with a pose that uh, and I got to figure out what I'm going to do with his feet. I'm going to put the first foot right there because I want him moving. I don't want him standing still. It looks too static. See, that allows me to change the uh, angle of his hips, too. Because he's, if I try to do this while he's loose and away from the board, uh, the hip would not drop because this would lift up. So by anchoring it, and I need another screw, I'm forcing that foot down. arm out of the way so that I can position. Let's get this leg positioned first. 
uh, center of gravity, you want it to line up with this inside instep of this foot. Uh, and so you make sure your, your uh, chest, your breast uh, bone, or your uh, between the uh, two collarbones, lines directly up and over that foot, or at least a little bit behind. And uh, I'll set that like there. Believe me, he doesn't feel a thing. Now I may change the foot positions as I work on the design, but for now, this works. Cool. Let's see how having it anchored makes that hip drop when I put it back, and that way it gives you a nice. Uh, proportional, or not proportional, but change of weight type of uh, scenario. And if that goes down there, that shoulder tends to drop. And, uh, let's see. It's just a little tight. Uh, I noticed that on the female, um, her joints don't, aren't as tight as on this guy. Oh. Actually, you know what? With him anchored down, I really don't need to use the wire. Hmm, now that's interesting. Wow. Doesn't that open up some possibilities? Now he's got his hand up on his knife sheath. And, uh, I'm thinking about putting a bow in uh, his arm, or on this uh, hand, or in this hand, I should say. He's leaning a little too much that way now. Getting that lined up with the center. I think I'm going to put uh, a piece of clay on the uh, other ankle just to hold it in place. That's not perfect, but it gives me an idea of a movement that uh, might just work out. Because I think on him, I'd have his I've seen uh, paintings by uh, Western artists, uh, early, you know, like 1830s, around there. And I've seen a painting with one painting of a uh, Grovant, I think it was, uh, wearing a, uh, having his bow scabbard uh, strap put right down on top of the blanket, and the, the uh, arrows right uh, behind his back, and I, that would look good. 
You can see that makes a nice design with the blanket coming down here and uh, dropping Jack back here behind his leg. Just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking of, and this thing is, I'm not going to have it this long, the blanket, but I uh, just want to see how it would look hanging down over his shoulder. Yeah. Kind of like that. And see, it'll be just about this high off the ground, the blanket. It won't be all the way to the ground like this rag.